A total station is, is really simple in principle. Uh, really, it's an, an electronic or optical device. Now they're kind of combined, so it's an electronic and optical device. Uh, they're used in surveying. Uh, really, what they do is they use uh, angles and distances to measure some sort of XYZ or, or coordinate component for some target. Um, it's really simple in principle. Uh, Pythagoras, uh, a long time ago, laid a lot of the groundwork, uh, especially in the math that we use for calculating positions based off of these angles and distances. Uh, it's really common to use these total stations in things like uh, building instruction or property boundaries, utility, utility location, uh, really anything where you need to know the position of something. Um, <clears throat> the way that it works generally is that we have the, the total station at a known position. Um, and when we're surveying, we want to find the location of whatever it is we're measuring. So we need to know the, the location of a total station. Uh, that way we have some sort of, of spatial, uh, uh, I guess, uh, point that we're starting with. Uh, and then we also need to know the location of one more target or one more what we call a backsite uh, to really give the total station its uh, kind of orientation. Uh, once we know where the total station is and where it's aiming, then we can use that information and calculate the position of whatever we need to calculate. Uh, the most basic setup that we're looking at here has a total station at some known point with a backsite or uh, this prism over here highlighted in yellow. Uh, and that's gonna be what's called the station setup. So it's a single backsite with a, a known total station location. Uh, to improve the accuracy and improve the reliability of the survey that we're doing, we can add what uh, a second backside to the mix, or what we call a station setup plus. Total station at a known location, one backside to give us orientation, and then another backside to help with the orientation and also to give us some sort of quality check uh, that we're able to determine uh, if anything is kind of out of the bounds, if one of the coordinates may be off, uh, or just add some redundancy to the mix and make sure that we're calculating the correct position for all the targets. Um, oftentimes, we don't have uh, the total station location available. It's what we do, what's called a resection. So the resection is where the total station location is unknown. Uh, and so we do need at least two backsites or two known positions to calculate the position of the total station. Uh, and then similar to the station setup plus, we want an additional uh, known point. So we have a total of three known points at least that we have an ability to calculate the location, the orientation, and do a quality check. Um, Adding more to the mix is never going to hurt. So if you have four or five or six back sites, it's always good to measure them all in. It gives you more quality checks, uh, more ways to reduce error, and just kind of a better a better layout. Once we kind of know the spatial coordinates of our back sites and our total station, we can then go through and solve for X, Y, and Z for as many monitoring targets as we need. It could be, or excuse me, any targets that we need. It could be one, two, three, five hundred, whatever it is. Uh, we can we can calculate all of them as long as we have line of sight from our total station setup. <clears throat> 